Welcome to Ascension Integration with Sandra Walter. Hello and welcome to Ascension Integration. I'm Sandra Walter. This week I'm going to talk about purity and the end of war. As we move through these last months of 2012, we're entering a rapid acceleration of the Ascension process. The levels of understanding exactly what is occurring on your ascension path should be very clear by now. With just a few months left in 2012, you might feel a push to take a stronger and and larger steps in this process to fine tune your consciousness. This is preparation for the opportunities that are unfolding already for a lot of us. And one of my recommendations is to focus this week. Let's break it down for clarity. There are incredibly strong energetics available for expanding one's consciousness right now. Now that we have a fully functioning grid system, Gaia and humanity are right on course for the December Gateway to begin a powerful transformation of global consciousness, and that includes the planetary consciousness as well, Gaia, and our individual journeys. There is is so much occurring right now. There is so much available, and I can't emphasize that enough, that it is truly a beautiful opportunity to embrace the ascension path with your entire being. If you're there, if you're ready for it, if you've been wavering on it, if you've been lightly playing with the ascension process and just kind of waiting, waiting, waiting. Some have been on the fence, kind of wavering, needing proof of change or external events to push the envelope their way. And this conversation is not directed at those wavering on the process. It's, it's, I'm sorry, it's not for you. If you're curious, go ahead and listen. But this is now all about mastery. With our divine masculine and feminine balanced, integrated, and our higher self beginning to incarnate right into our physical being, our connection to our Christ crystalline crystal consciousness, which already exists, demands our attention. The external events will play out however they will. And and again, when, we, when it comes to a division of worlds, the, the stuff that you see in news and, and, and Facebook and things like that, that's stuff playing out in 3D. And the, the, the shadow of that in that lower fourth dimensional vibration um, can distract us from the truth because... And like I always say, you cannot find the truth with your mind or Google or Facebook or a YouTube video. We, we need to step away from that and start stepping into mastery. The external events are, are going to do whatever they want. And when it comes to end game scenarios, I'll, I'll get to that in, in a moment. But the internal connection to all of yourself is the divine request of source itself, the microcosm answer to the macrocosm question of let me know all of myself. Let me explore myself. I want to know everything. And this deep knowing of the true self, all levels, all layers, all dimensions of you, your expression, takes on a level of mastery as the frequencies become stronger. And I know a lot of you are feeling this and it appears to be the, the solar activity, but this is we're we're entering fully entering into that, that photonic amplification of this evolutionary step that we're all taking. There's a bit of an energetic fury going on right now, electron and proton bombardment, magnetics and structural changes to the planet. From our state of mastery, we are able to 
utilize these changes and recognize our own evolution within the shift. Now, mastery, the integration of the higher self, the I am presence, the crystalline consciousness, Christ consciousness, requires purification. Now, purity in the ascension process includes clearing the body vehicle of ego, mind, and emotional constructs, controls, which limit the true ability of one's consciousness. If we desire the richest, most expansive experience that this shift will provide, we can't be trapped or controlled by lower density constructs. And as I've, as I've taught before, the, the body vehicle, the mind, the emotions, the ego are not the true you. And as the true you begins to step right in, this marriage of the higher and lower that everyone's been talking about is occurring, has been occurring slowly, and now we're getting like the uber blast right now for it to occur. And as this occurs, all of those lower density things have to go away if you're going to move ahead in this process. And trust me, some people are running with this. There is so much available right now, and it continues to unfold in higher and higher levels. That's not hierarchy. It's just experience. But knowing the self, the true self, does not include the mind level, the egoic structures, the emotional deities, the the cellular stuff that's stuck from, from past uh, incarnations in the body vehicle. So purification assists in allowing the higher self to come right in and fully um, integrate all this. Now there's much debate over just how pure the body must be in order to integrate the crystalline consciousness and the I am presence. In the interests of transparency, I can share that I am experiencing the, the incarnation of the higher self stepping right in and that crystalline consciousness getting amplified, the unconditional love vibration and those crystalline structures are expanding so much right now that my, my entire heart center and, and, and upper high heart area feels like a big balloon right now. It's just expanding and expanding. And I had some incredible experiences in my little mini retreat um, last weekend, uh, which I, I can't share right now. But I can share that I'm experiencing this this higher self, this crystalline consciousness. And, and I was very excited. That's why I gave that, that webinar a couple of weeks ago about how to, how to merge with the higher self because it's here and there are things that you can do. Now, it's not an instantaneous process. It, it is a process. It's not instantaneous. You're not like, bam, and everyone is suddenly rewritten, recoded, and it's just not going to happen that way. There are levels of integration, but in the past week, I made a huge leap in my understanding of myself and my connection in this galaxy and it becomes extremely profound and the the amount of gratitude and unconditional love and and peace and divinity and grace and purity is it continues to elevate and expand throughout this process i mean just when you think that you've attained a certain level of of, of a grasp of of what is occurring another level gets exposed and it just keeps going. And the, the things that I experienced last weekend showed me, uh, I, I was presented with things that were, were brand new and yet remembered and had nothing to do with, with any of, of the methods that we've been, that we've been um, taught. It, it seems like those, those are getting busted apart too. It's like, yes, thank you. They were good tools. And then it seems you reach a certain point and new things begin to unfold. And of course, it's, it's uh, individual. It's, it's applicable to your, your own journey and, and what your soul is, is trying to experience. Now, my, my experiences are getting stronger and more powerful and more connected. And the wisdom 
knowledge, understanding of who I am and what is occurring have, have taken on a level of divinity and unconditional love that is just, it, it's indescribable. Just imagine the, the biggest, highest level and then, you know, times it by a thousand. Now, I am learning the intricacies of cosmic timing and hope to be able to share what happened to me last weekend very soon. But there's a level of trust and grace involved that takes me completely out of that 3D, low, 4D, needs-to-know construct of impatience, ego, all of that. Meanwhile, purification of the body vehicle has presented as a wise choice to support this rapid acceleration that we're in now. Anyone who is is buckled into the, the ascension ride can feel the energy amplification and it it has little to do with the with with the solar flares that of course you know the sun is now quadrupolar officially quadrupolar it is now sending different energetics through the sun is our gateway to everything in and out of the solar system and when this 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 rapid acceleration of energies as we come into this alignment and pass through this this alignment with the center of the galaxy we're getting cosmic rays of evolution that are potent and just really penetrating every everything that is and it's not just humans it's the kingdoms it's the planet it's it's everything that is involved in our experience here and and it's related to the rest of the galaxy and everything and, and maybe I'll get into that next week but but for now realize that the that watching the external and watching you know 500 dolphins leave and and then the whole group of penguins left uh this week you know the kingdoms always get affected first during a, a shift like this uh why it's not because they're sensitive it's because they're <laughs> They're already existing in that 4D state of presence. You know, there, there is no worrying about the past, thinking about the future. They've already got time under control. And there, the, the, the kingdoms are, are going to be transformed as well. But they get, to, they get to go first. When you get to step into that fifth dimensional new earth, um, it, it, there's already going to be animals there. <laughs> there's already, you know, there's already animals there. The kingdoms are, are, are getting first dibs on, on integrating that. Um, and just because they're in that state already of presence, just absolutely accepting. They're not, fi- they're not freaking out because there's a solar flare or worried about what they're going to do about the financial collapse or whatever. They're ready. So the kingdoms always get to kind of step out first. And uh, so so try not to get too freaked out when there's, you know, die-offs or whatever. It's just because the, the magnetics and the energy of, of Gaia that used to support a third dimensional existence, when they change the the body vehicle of those of those beings from, from the animal kingdom, uh, it, it doesn't support it any longer and they're so present that they're just they're ready to go so they they get to step out um and i saw this like amazing uh gateway during my meditations uh last weekend it was all this like blue lightning electric uh uh frequency coming through this this giant portal and there were all these um there were like these these big humpbacks on on either side of it that were just they I mean I have so I have a connection to to the humpbacks and and I call upon them a lot you know and you just kind of bring bring the whales into your presence and they're very wise and they're they're very you know telepathic and um and they hold a lot of uh, they've been doing a lot of work with um harmonics this whole time that's why they sound the way they do to us but uh, they were were kind of guarding or rather showing me the this this portal this energy that was coming in this like electric lightning kind of energy and it was all blue and white and it was really fascinating but it just tied into this idea of you know the kingdoms are they're ready you know and they'll be 
stepping off as they as they wish as you know all divine cosmic timing um but try not to get too freaked out about it and realize that your state of consciousness as you step into mastery is very is very much in the flow it is what it is everything is acceptable in your own life stream in what's going around in in uh, in the external it's like it has it kind of has nothing to do with presence it's a strange strange state of consciousness for a lot of people because they're like wow i really just surrendered to everything it's like yeah that's that's being source and it's like a step in our in our mastery to fully understand that state of flow and surrender and then start mastering the the art of creating exactly what you want to create from that creator state Alrighty, so if you're considering mastery on the level of ascension that includes opening up to the highest level of light possible which why not uh, we're here what else are you going to do <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's the highest level of light possible that that's a pretty good intention it's like hmm, evolution is upon us how would i like to go through this would i like to experience everything that i possibly can pay attention you know i've got what a, a, a year or so six months you just want to pay attention for the next six months uh, i would say go for it i would say pretty much anything else not really important <laughs> if you want to if you want to experience as much as possible and it's time to clean up the last bits of the the dietary changes when it comes to purifying the body vehicle and and allowing the body vehicle to accept as much as possible by now you'll recognize what foods support and what foods kind of control the consciousness that habitual or emotional eating the old do do you control the food or does the food control you aspect um, that needs to be cleared ask your body what it needs and then listen this is another part of mastery is really listening and listening doesn't mean i i need it to sound i need my body to sound as if uh my my best friend is standing right next to me and it's crystal clear you got to start learning to feel into that higher dimensional state of being it's soft and subtle and it's so it's so full of light and and you start to move into that light language where it stops becoming so much like a chatter of the mind and the thoughts and you feel into it and your body will share that with you listen to the answers the recommendations of whole raw food vegan diet to support to support ascension is that recommendation that you keep hearing is there for a reason evolution is evolution and yes everyone gets to ascend leave the planet whatever during during this period of time and yes everyone even the asleep are affected by these planetary changes but mastery includes the deep connection and respect for the kingdoms the elementals as well as the wisdom to end support end support for old paradigm constructs of processed corporatized modified foods and and animal corpses again if you really feel if your body is just like give me a, an animal corpse and must eat meat it, go with it you know your journey is 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 doing something else but if you're receiving that that intuition to change if you realize if if you're eating and you're like hmm it just doesn't feel so good don't do it anymore you know mastery is conscious choices conscious choices in alignment with what you truly want to experience and again you know this broadcast is not for those wavering about whether or not any kind of ascension is going to occur this is ascension integration <laughs> this is about integrating what we know and and amplifying the process so the the moment to end the procrastination or wavering on what may or may not be good for your ascension or not good for the planet 
is now. And when it comes to moving out of collective agreements that I'm, I'm going to wait until they present uh, health food in, in all the fast food restaurants, that we're not we're not there anymore step you know it, it, you've probably stepped out of that already if you're listening to the show but if you're if you've been wavering on stuff like i don't know sometimes it's just more convenient to do this do that we need to step out of that because mastery is about way showing if we're going to step into this level of consciousness we can't we can't be dragging our feet or or waiting for for others to go first if you're going to be a way shower so let's step into that I mean, we're we're the people who are going to be of the highest service to everyone as they get incredibly confused and anxious about rapid change in the next 6 months so it's time to to do your best and this isn't a, a punishing puritanical structure you know purity is not is not about this this kind of perfection where it's like bad body bad 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 mind bad ego it is about retraining and making conscious choices and faster and faster steps in order to keep up with this speeding up of of this this time collapse so that you don't get completely disoriented and frustrated and trapped in like egoic or emotional you know spinning your wheels about I should do it, but man, yeah, maybe tomorrow, you know, or I'm not feeling well, so I'm going to eat, you know, something from, from a corporation. You know, it's time to make really conscious choices and do your best. Things aren't available where, where you are. Uh, make them available. You know, get on it. This is, this is about action, too. This is not about sitting back. This is about stepping into the mastery, and mastery includes, uh, you know, getting, getting out of the box, Getting, getting away from looking, searching the, the, the computer and the web for, for information. It's about knowing the self, and you can't find yourself on YouTube. All right. This is about getting all of the, the higher you back. You claim it. You command it. You, as your higher self, command everything that's going on in your life stream. And this isn't about, you know, trying to manipulate or, or control everything for, for some kind of set outcome. You are just being presence and, and, re and realizing what doesn't match. What doesn't match me being the presence, the source that I am? What doesn't match that in my life stream? Do I need to get rid of that? Am I willing to let it go? Am I willing to step into this? Because now we've got an, an acceleration that is just spinning us, you know, straight toward toward the finish line, toward the December gateway. And if you want to experience as much as possible during that gateway, I mean, you can sleep right through it. It's fine. You know, go ahead, hit the snooze until whatever, and, and whatever happens, happens. But if you want to experience it in the highest frequency, the highest level of light, why not play with that? Why not experience that? And the, and the amount of of love and gratitude and everything changes your entire life your entire consciousness comes back the true you comes back if your higher self is requesting change there is a reason if you're feeling or sensing negative emotion around your your eating habits or, or guilt shoulds shame whatever it's it's your higher self saying will you please pay attention this, this is not this is not about uh happiness you know this food makes me happy like a so uh, you know associating um eating and 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 uh and and kind of like social dynamics drinking whatever with with happiness is, is gone and it's like what what are, what are we really doing if you're feeling or sensing like some negativity or wow i really don't enjoy that anymore but you just keep doing it you, you, we just need to pay attention. You're getting the message to clear that out of your life stream now. We do want to support the body and give it the best chance of getting through this process without creating dis-ease or disharmony, because we we want to match the vibration of where we're going if we want to experience this in a in a beautiful and creative way, and and see what what. The universe has in store for us. All of our journeys are 
completely different and individual. But if you want, if you if you're receiving those messages for change, and and they're getting amplified because of the acceleration now, pay attention. Purification of the mind and the emotions is something that I've spoken of at at length on the show and and those that are ready for mastery understand the importance of releasing the ego's grip on the life stream in order to ascend emotions are just as troublesome due to their density and ability to block dna upgrades you literally will not be able to to attain a, a, a level of mastery by holding on to that emotional baggage and and if you don't understand what emotional baggage is it's that subconscious energy that that keeps um your your structure and density it's fear it doesn't belong there it's not even you learn how to clear it emotions are are a uh, a real block and and releasing and clearing should be second nature by now and please don't be lazy about dealing with the subconscious because it does hold you back. And if we're, if we're talking purely about ascension integration and a level of, of purity going into these, these last few months before the, the big gateway, uh, and again, that's not about leaving the planet, it's about transformation. These, these things that you'll discover about yourself when the non-self nonsense is gone will amaze you it will absolutely you know <laughs> blow your mind it, it, it literally all of that stuff goes away and it's it's hard to to convince people that that's available because if you're if you're stuck in emotion or stuck in ego or don't want to listen to someone give you <laughs> advice and are very resistant to to change um it, it's difficult you know and that's that's the the only difficult part of my my role my mission right now is, as ascension guide is is that when uh, people will will not uh, step into asking how do I do this and, and not put a value on it you know it's 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 difficult right now because there there seems to be a a, a whole a whole level, a whole collective um, dynamic of uh, ascension is going to happen no matter what. Yeah, of course, ascension is just evolution. It's just evolution to a higher frequency. Whether your body can take it or not, whether your consciousness can take it or not, is completely dependent upon your individual journey. But if you are talking about ascending to a higher frequency in a conscious way and experiencing the, the wildest ride possible, this is available. This is very available. And not only that, but there is a, a level of divinity in knowing all of yourself. And that's not just this, this lower density self. It's knowing the higher self, knowing the soul, knowing all of your expressions all the way up and out through the dimensions. It's knowing yourself as the galaxy. It's knowing yourself as the universe. It's knowing yourself as source. And there is there's a level of wisdom and calm and peace that has such a strong effect on the collective consciousness and such a this divine state of unconditional love is just it's sweeping through ascending ones this summer and its frequency has transformed the way that the shift will play out just as important as as the way it transforms the individual journeys as as just as important as as the way that it will uh, let your journey unfold in a unique way it begins to create new structures in the body. All of these energies, this purity, begins to create new structures in the body and the crystalline structure, which opens up portals within, through which crystalline consciousness, this state of crystalline consciousness may enter. And that is occurring already, has been going on for a little while, but now that we're in this amplification, it is 
faster it is more potent it is palpable oh you can you you it's here you can experience that right now and it's not about i isolation but it does include solitude when it comes to purification meditation where the where the brain and the heart begin to function in alignment with the true self is uh is is a very important key and and i can't stress that enough when it comes to we're not you know we don't all have to quit our jobs and just spend all day meditating and and eating carrots and drinking water and that's not what i'm talking about i'm talking about your individual journey and what you want to experience and integrate this into your life right now but if you're getting the nudge to pay attention and change things you need to you need to do that if you want to experience this expansion of your own consciousness and there is something unique and absolutely beautiful about knowing yourself and your place in the in the galaxy in the in the 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 intergalactic community that is being created right now because we're we're reuniting with our our higher levels which are you know this this is our, our multidimensional self we're getting to know all the aspects of ourself and this we, we haven't been there in a while yes it does take integration but it does not take procrastination delaying your spiritual experience or exploration until something in the external tells you it's okay to do so uh, you're, you're not going to get there and and if you need something external <laughs> to, to tell you uh use me if you're looking for that sign i i will use the old paradigm phrase right now you were called to this radio broadcast for a reason <laughs> which i just i it's so old paradigm but if you need a message from the external saying it hey uh it's it's time we're here uh, it's time to go this this is the trigger it's time to go this is the trigger. This is it. We need to fully step into mastery now. And mastery is a process and it does take a lot of integration and it takes training. So if you're if you're thinking about this, it's time to stop thinking about it and doing it. And when it comes to mastering your effect on the collective consciousness, if your pure intention, and I talked about pure intentions on a webinar a few weeks ago, but pure intention to truly step fully into your light, discover all of yourself, and assist the collective consciousness in raising the vibration of humanity so that all of this, this uh, violence and war and fear, all of that, those constructs fall away. If your pure intention is to affect the collective as best as possible, um, go for it. This is now. This is this is mastery level now, and that means making those conscious choices. And again, it's not about punishment and judgment and everything. All of that fades away, and it becomes very. It, it's like common sense, total no brainer, natural state. Of course. Of course, I'm going to take care of myself. Of course, I'm going to do the things that I'm I'm getting the the intuition to do. And again, it is individual, but if you're getting the nudge to stop eating this, why don't you, uh, you know, do the yoga? Why don't, why don't I meditate more? How come I'm not doing that anymore? It's your higher self going, please wake up, please. You know, there are many levels of awakening, and and awakening is is not just being uh, aware of that that this stuff is going on you know another level of awakening is actually participating in it and when it comes to pure intentions to assist gaia and humanity to make this shift as as easy on everybody as possible if your pure intention is there you need to actually do something in order to to create that in your own life stream if you want to affect the external you have to change the internal so there is no intention without action and when it when it comes to purity and tying it into 
mastery. I'm, I'm pretty sure everyone has a, a grip on, on what I'm talking about there. There's, there's levels of purity and, and you will, as you, as your vibration increases, your, your, your body and your consciousness becomes intolerant of a lot of lower level stuff and you just follow it and, and trust it. It doesn't mean isolation, but sometimes it does mean when you're getting the nudge to go out and, and get, get alone with yourself and get alone with source and your guides, do it. Because now, now is the time when all of that information is stepping right in and that wisdom is returning. And a lot of times you can't hear it if you've got a lot of thought forms going on around you or you have a lot of distractions or you have a lot of multitasking going on. Because multitasking, it, it scatters the brain. That, you know, you're, you're doing all these different things at once and it actually uh, decreases your ability to focus. <laughs> so you want to make sure that you're, you're doing the meditation, getting quiet, whatever it takes you know, a couple times a day for short periods, or if you're entering mastery now, you're anchoring down for an hour or so, and there's nothing to it. It's not a task. It's, it's something you want to do. It's something your heart desires to do. And if you're getting that guidance, follow it now. You know, this is, this is the time. This is the moment. This is the acceleration. And it takes away the attachment to whatever's going on in the in the outside world so you don't worry and, and search and and try and uh you know find find the latest information because what's happening now well if you want to continue to read and hear about things that are happening to other people that's that's fine if that's your choice however if your choice is mastery you need to get to know yourself and you need to listen to the vast amount of wisdom that you hold and you open yourself up to it and it steps right in and yes there's you know some of us are are born with the you know a, a little better wiring a little more intelligence but when you get quiet you hear your own expression of source coming through it doesn't mean that that you you suddenly are are completely aware of exactly every pattern of sacred geometry and and portal structure there is if that's your journey it presents if it isn't it presents in in another way it does have to do with creativity and creativity is not limited to the the the, the classic 3d um expressions of, of art you know painting dancing theater whatever it does have to do with creating you, creating yourself, not as someone else, not as trying to mimic something else, but really discovering and knowing the self and everything that you have have been through. I mean, you're, you're reconnecting to your galactic self, your multidimensional self that is experiencing so much all at the same time and as we step out of this this idea of just my journeys here and my karma and and all the stuff that's kind of been uh making our journeys very finite here as we step out of that and you start to realize just how huge you are and where human consciousness is going it it will amaze you and not only that, you're going to feel such love and gratitude, grace, and, and just absolutely blessed by the return of yourself. Not something external, but the return of yourself and some, some amazing things will begin to unfold, I promise you. Because if they're happening to me, I, I am in no way, shape, or form some kind of a guru that's been you know meditating on a mountain forever. If, if I can do it, if I, if I have access to this stuff, trust me, a, a lot of people have access to this stuff. But again, if our pure intention is to assist the planet and assist humanity out of this, this dark era that we've been through and assist them through the frequency shift, we have to take responsibility for our own mastery at this point. And mastery is just about going direct. It's not about 
methods and tricks and tools and, and how to you know trick the subconscious into stepping into another construct. It is about you commanding you, absolute mastery of you. And if you if you don't understand what that what that means or or how to do that, just book a session with me. I know a lot of people procrastinate. They're like, I don't need any help, and I, you know, ninety nine dollars is a lot. I have a lot to share with you, and if if you're if you're ready for that, I'm ready to walk you through it. That is what I'm here for. And there are others that are uh, that are doing the same thing. So if you don't resonate with me. Um, you know, find, find someone, get some help. You know, this is, it's evolution and it's tough. I mean, I, I get help all the time. It's just that my, my help happens to be a, a little dimensional, but it's available to you. And when you connect with your true self and mastery, that is when you, you receive what is, what is meant for you, your pure expression of source that is individual and personal, you will understand what your journey is about and where it's going and how it's changing. Your truth is going to change. Your, your vision is going to change. I mean, everything begins to shift and there's so much available. And the more that you welcome that in and learn how to really step in and, and command your own life stream. This is the return of you. You know, the, all the metaphors about returning everything, Quetzalcoatl and Christ and Yeshua, everything else, it's all you. And you will understand that on a very, very high level if, you, if you're open to letting all of this unfold and, and stepping into that mastery. You get to that level of consciousness and you understand on a very divine level exactly what you are and what that means to be in unity consciousness. It's incredible. You know, you are everything at that level. And it's not just it's not just a cliche or a catchphrase, you know, I am has been spread around a lot, but you will understand the absolute meaning of I am when you are completely connected with everything. And then the fun part begins because then you begin to master how to affect and accelerate the shift of humanity out of this, this density into a, a harmonious and, and beautiful new paradigm. And that's, that's where we're going. And we can be those, those potent amplifiers and new creators of of form i mean we're we're actually changing the the reality of the collective because the the collective you know they always have an agreement you always have a collective consciousness agreement of yes i want change but a lot of consciousness is just too just too lazy to to step into that and go i'm going to how do i do it so for those of us who are going through the ascension process and consciously going, all right, I'm here. I want purification, mastery. I'm going for it. The unconditional love has stepped in. The crystalline consciousness has stepped in. My higher self is starting to step in. I want to know how to utilize this for the highest good of all concerned and the highest good of the planet. Because the planet is the reason why we're here. So you can be so intimately connected to Gaia right now and to all that is if if you allow it if you surrender to it welcome it in and and give up a, a lot of the nonsense a lot of that that nonsensical stuff um, and that that is available so when it comes to uh, the second half of this conversation is about the end of war for for a long time we've said uh, war and violence will will be around until we don't need it anymore because we create it and collective agreements all over the board um and, and that affects everybody uh are still agreeing to that existing now as we go through a, a dimensional split the the folks that are embracing that that higher vibration and that higher state of consciousness and again it's not hierarchy it's choice it, it's it's called a higher state of consciousness because it's a higher vibration it's a higher vibrational rate a higher frequency so if you're embracing that higher state of consciousness you have noticed that none of none of that that 3d low 4d stuff matters anymore it just 
it, it feels like it doesn't really exist because technically it doesn't. So as you, you start changing your frequency, because we are existing in this, uh, on the same planet right now, in the same expression of, of Gaia, we have an opportunity in the, you know, the higher vibration always trumps the lower. The lower vibration will always be lifted when it's next to a higher vibration. So the more that we can amplify the higher consciousness vibration, taking action, stepping into our mastery, allowing, surrendering to the stepping in of the higher self and the crystalline consciousness and learning and training ourselves how to integrate that, the faster we pull the density up and out of that, that old structure that is technically already gone. Take a, take a look. Really feel into your heart and see that that is gone. It doesn't exist. That is not the path of, of the planet. We have the opportunity to take humanity and, 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 and Gaia's lower expression through the shift in a very rapid way, the more of us that are embracing that. We already have millions of people on the planet who are awakened and participating in trying to create a new paradigm. However, when it comes to fully embracing the crystalline consciousness, that's occurring more and more, and especially this summer, just a, a wide, wide, wide spread of people through the collective consciousness fully stepping into that and going, yes, yes, welcoming it in and not being afraid of it because things fall away. 3D it, it seems as if you know, as long as you don't play with it on the mental level too much and, and you get reminders all the time, like, try not to think about it, you know, because then you're stepping back down into density where the thoughts and, and, the, and the ego and the emotions kind of pull and go, oh, my God, that is so weird. I don't even feel like my room is real anymore <laughs> or whatever, you know, let it go. There, there's always that, re that higher self going, shh, 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 it's okay. It's fine. You know, come with, come on, come on. Let's, let's just raise raise the vibration, raise your frequency, and and get into that heart space. And all the all all the for for a while, this is what I see occurring. As more and more people step into that state of unconditional crystalline consciousness and are receiving all of those energetics, all that evolutionary upgrade as we go through these these last months then we we go through this this very bizarre experience in in december of of getting um a full amplification of of those structures and i do feel like like something um it's not you know a lot of people have used the term rewrite or whatever it's it's not even a rewrite it's like um a complete transformation for a lot of people to to be able then to not leave the planet disappear into the fifth dimension but to be absolutely of pure service when humanity is going through a very dramatic change and a very dramatic transition for a lot of folks that are carrying a consciousness that is just not not aware um, and, and yes, it affects the physical a lot. So that's, that, that's going to be something to deal with. But when it comes to, um, teaching people and, and taking their hand and, and opening the door and, and walking them through the process, there are a, a huge group of way showers and, and candidates for, for being a way shower that are, are right now term, terming themselves as, as like light workers or, or healers or whatever. Uh, you can step into into the the way shower thing right now, and, but way showing is about is, is about getting to that pure mastery state, not perfection, but really being set on the path and living your truth and being authentic about your intentions. Because you don't want to set an intention that I need to raise my vibration, otherwise I'm going to die. <laughs> you know, that's has nothing to do with you as infinite consciousness, darling. You know, it doesn't. It doesn't matter. I mean, it doesn't matter to me right now if if 
if my body can't handle it because I've already experienced what I am on the other side of all these veils. So it doesn't matter. You know, it's, just, it's, and, and I'm not trying to escape the experience of what is happening right now at all because I understand myself as source and my, my mission of being that liaison, of being that, that way shower of walking people through this and look at what is available now and look at what is being discovered now. And it's it's not based on ancient texts or anything like that or anything that happened in Atlantis or the last time. Old history, let it go. Look at what's available now. And as we move through this, all of the, the prophecies and everything, all the metaphors are are pointing us to this this birth of not just the new planet, which already exists, but this this new energetic where uh, the the human genome not just returns to to a, an active state, but is actually taking on um, some some new responsibilities. And part of that right now is Gaia, connected to Gaia. You're here for a reason. Whether you're just raising the frequency of the people around you or mixing it up and challenging people so that they can awaken, uh, it, it depends on your role. But when you start stepping into this crystalline consciousness, you really feel it, it's not, it's not um, a, a need. It's, it's this deep understanding that, yes, of course I will help. Of course I will serve. And you don't have to worry about how how it's going to work how am i going to afford it how it? just let it go and and everything becomes very very simple on the on the external level it's like oh look what people are doing you know and it's it's amusing it, you you get you have a sense of humor about about what people are experiencing and it becomes very beautiful it's beautiful to see how people are experiencing their their life streams and and I honor all the journeys that are that are going on here. But you'll have some distance from it. You'll it's like watching a movie. You're like, wow, look at what's playing out, and wow, look at how they're they're celebrating that. And and there's no judgment on. Oh, they have no idea what's going to happen. Oh, they don't. They're they're asleep. All of that goes away. All the judgment goes away. It it is what it is. But when it becomes your your mission, your core truth, to assist the vibrational level of the planet and humanity and and assist humanity through this when that becomes pure uh, nothing n- nothing else matters because in reality nothing else matters <laughs> you know your your expression is down here and you've been woken up on that level and you've you've desired that that ascension to that to that frequency where it's not about leaving the planet it's not about you know, preaching, teaching, uh, pulling people through it. It's, and it's not egoic at all. It's just like, yes, I'm here, here to serve and, and experience for myself, all of myself. And once you get to know all of yourself, all that, all that direction starts to unfold, you know, and we're all on, on different levels of, of how we're experiencing this. You know, some people full on whole, holy cow just like crazy active acceleration and some people still um struggling with should i quit my job or not <laughs> you know that kind of thing and uh and it's it's fine you know that's fine that's just the way things are playing out but having an appreciation and gratitude for wow look at everything that has been manifested on this plane look at what humanity has has created good bad or otherwise look at what look at what has occurred and look at what is occurring it's not looking back and going oh my god we really wrecked it look how much we screwed up the planet or whatever it it was what it was but right now right here you you can't stay in that vibration of watching the old paradigm crumble of watching all that stuff burn and 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 amplifying the uh that kind of um uh it's it's not a that white hat construct because there are actually people who are are providing good information uh from from the inside which you know you get to this level there is no inside take a look <laughs> you know this okay you know let let's let's 
try to understand how consciousness works. You know, you, you don't need any of, of external tools or people telling you what's going on. Take a look. Because if we're going to create this, this new paradigm of harmony and balance and good for everybody, you can't be in judgment about the, the folks that screwed it up last time. It's gone. It's so gone. Don't worry about them. All of that, you know, it all comes out in the wash. Don't worry about it. It's not, you know, unless you are one of the people who are, are have been just extremely dark. Um, and, and if so, you've already, you've already got hit. So don't worry about it. You know, it's fine. The, the, the rest of the rest of the stuff with, you know, people dealing with, with money or being asleep or whatever, that's just like karma playing out, roles playing out, group contracts. It, you know, it don't, don't worry about it. Let's, let's just get to know you. Get to know you and mastering your own consciousness because that is what has the greatest effect on the planet right now. And I'm not talking about spending the next six months processing your emotions. Oh my God, you got to hurry up. You know, this is mastery time. It's knowing that that has nothing to do with you, the true you. Clearing it out of your subconscious getting getting rid of all the the emotion the, the the eating and the i'm not taking care of myself i'm not moving i'm not balancing you know my my symptoms are driving me crazy or whatever getting getting out of that space knowing how to release and clear that stuff and stepping into commanding your own life stream and that's not about trying to control outcomes it's really surrender absolute surrender to the true you and not surrendering to the external Surrendering to the higher self that's trying very hard to get a hold of you, to get a hold of, of you trying to get a hold of your consciousness so that all of your, your expressions can, can align so you get to know yourself again. And it's fascinating to get to really know yourself on so many levels. And not only that, but to be able to step into knowing the self without any dependency or or influence from any other being just like mm, mm, mm. i i, I want to know you know don't tell me what to do don't tell me where i was don't tell me who i truly am don't tell me about star systems i want to go direct and when you when you have that intention of i want to know what my expression is just me you you step into it stuff starts to unfold but you have to pay attention and you have to get into that purification state of like I'm taking all the stuff that doesn't belong out, all of it doesn't belong out, and the the frequency is assisting that, but it's not going to be just frequency. And you can see that that effect already on on the unawakened. You're like, oh, I thought the frequency was going to just naturally take care of ascension. We'll take a look at 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 the uh, you know the the three D still playing out. It doesn't really look like the frequency is is doing all that much does it so this is about consciousness is about conscious choice as to what you want to experience you know and and a lot of people have contracts to not wake up so so no judgment on that whatsoever you know they're they're doing a balancing act but as we get into an acceleration and so much more is available now with this acceleration that we have so many people on the planet now who get it and are making that jump of yes i'm stepping right into mastery i understand who i am and i am not controlled by anything external because i am and on a very deep level understanding that and there is such an amount of joy and love and gratitude and grace and divinity and purity with that state of consciousness that everything else melts away. You know, vibration equals vibration. You get the higher vibration going, everything else has to has to match that frequency. And it it's like a magnet. <laughs> it's a magnet for more and more wisdom and more knowing the self and you'll be presented with the the broadest spectrum possible of your experience here. And why not? Why not? What else are we doing? What else are you here for? To work? To worry? To, you know, fuss with different things? To 
hang out in the woods and <laughs> do nothing. I mean, let, let's get on board. Let's let's experience everything that we can. And not only that, support each other as we go through this and have a deep respect for what is what is occurring with all of these dear brothers and sisters around us. Talk about it. No judgment. You should. You should do that. You shouldn't do that. Let people have their experience and share yours in an authentic way because it amplifies everybody being authentic and all the control and manipulation shadows going away. And at last, the end of war and violence and all of this fear on the planet because you just realized, oh, I don't want to play with that anymore. You end it right in your life stream. You eliminate it from your consciousness because it doesn't exist when you get in when you start ascending into that higher dimension it doesn't exist there's no need for it because the 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 mind the ego the emotions gone just got, the, all that structure is gone and when you step away from it and you realize that the higher dimension doesn't even include that when you get into the fifth dimension and higher you, you'll see like how nonsensical it is to cling to that, that, that suffering and the pain. And then we begin to shift the entire consciousness of the collective toward that crystalline state of harmony. It doesn't mean all of us are going to be angels or something like that. It means the experience of humanity evolves into something much much more beneficial for everyone and and that's what a lot of people want that's what a lot of people are are taking action on right now and action is the name of the game do it in your life and in your community at the same time and you start affecting people but you have to be real about it you have to be authentic there's no more hiding it's a it's it's a choice it's a choice to live this way and and having and being that brave to to step into it you will see like how how silly it was that you wavered about being brave when you make that leap you know, there's no worrying about wh what this person thinks or that person thinks you really you get to know yourself as source and none of that matters and and it's not just a mental level anymore it's a heart level there's so much gratitude for and love and, and intimacy in the experience of being in having an expression in the physical that you then want to enjoy it and, and play with it as much as possible and go, wow, how much expansion of consciousness can I experience at this at this level and then join all of my higher expressions so that all of this this uh, battle that's been going on for a very long time finally ends because the the planet is is the last place to um, to kind of conquer this uh, this lower vibration that's this had a grip on consciousness for a while I mean it's a battle of consciousness it's not it's not one race against the other or anything like that it's a battle for consciousness it's just control of consciousness and as as we begin to embrace ourselves as source and really know our expression of source and not basing our expression on something that we, th we think it should look like or we should be doing that or whatever, really listening and understanding, hmm, all right, what, what's going on with my body? What's going on with my emotions? And I, I want to know everything that I am. Show me, show me, show me. But you, you can't be shown, you can't hold that higher vibration while the, the lower stuff is, is kind of blocking the, the progress. You know, you, you let the light in and, and something presents that wants to go away. Learn how to clear and release it, you know, whether, whether it comes to the, the body vehicle or the mind, the ego, the emotions. Learn how to let that stuff go and surrender to the process that your higher self wants to wants to unfold for you so before i close i just want to mention a couple of things um on my website you'll find information on the last two webinars that i gave 
Now, the, the last one, merging with the higher self, I have heard and I feel is very powerful. And it's got a lot of information and it uh, will move you into that feeling space of what is what is occurring and what is available for you right now. And, uh, and they're only $12. Also available is um, the, the Venus Transit webinar. We still have a recording and slides from that too. Um, but the, uh, the last one, the merging with the higher self was, was potent. It was, it was, it was very powerful and it's $12. So if, if you want two hours of, of solid information about higher self connection, um, I encourage you to do that. Uh, the other thing that I offer is personal sessions. I counsel people internationally, um, via Skype or, or, um, or phone and those sessions are 90 minutes it's 99 dollars. and please don't deny yourself some really personal guidance on ascension i'll answer any questions that you want it's not a psychic reading we're not talking about disempowerment we're talking about empowerment so if you have questions about mastery about fully stepping into the ascension process or you're confused about something or you can't get past something still trapped in the emotions or the ego or the mind or don't know how to command the body vehicle at all um, go ahead to my website and book yourself a session um, it's uh, this this process is beautiful right now it's it's gorgeous to see and and interact with people who are fully embracing what is what is occurring right now the big aha moment of oh wow i think i got it and the second you open up and that unconditional love crystalline consciousness starts stepping in you're not done yet keep going <laughs> it, it's you would not believe what's available right now it's gorgeous so in the meantime please have a beautiful and creative week this has been Ascension Integration with Sandra Walter. For more information on Ascension or Ascension Counseling, visit Sandra on the web at www.sandrawalter.com.